Hi there, Gemini. It is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your June 2018 reading. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of June. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love? Now keep in mind, if you're in a happily ever after relationship and you aren't looking for love and you hate love, then you probably shouldn't be watching this. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Bad luck. Run a bad luck. Ooh, something isn't feeling good. We have the star reversed, so there's some sort of lack of hope, lack of wish fulfillment, lack of faith in something. There is a need to take action, swift action, okay? It's time to, you need to do something. You need to go charging in. You need to do something, Gemini. I don't know what it is, but this is get moving. Um, have no fear. Have no fear. What the hell? Have no fear of this new beginning. What is this? Because we have the world card. There is a new beginning here. Something big. It's a major new beginning. It's like there's a new start, a new phase in life. But there's insecurities. Well, of course there is. Ah. Uh, so what the hell is this? Somebody is fearing or feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling like a victim. Hmm. There's options here with the two of two of uh, wands. It's like. There's a new door opening or there's a new door that has opened for you that is giving you an opportunity to start a new long-term phase in your life. But you have to take action. You have to do something. Whatever this door is opening for you, it could lead to wish fulfillment. It could lead to what you've been waiting for. But there is still some sort of victim mentality here. So I'm not sure what that is. We're going to get some more cards. This Nine of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is ungrateful. Somebody that doesn't not not abundant. Not feeling good. What the hell is this? Now we have the Judgment card. This is about the truth. So it looks like some truth is being revealed about your about a, being alone some truth is being revealed about not wanting to be alone interesting hmm. there's karma and destiny here right off the bat and you have to make a decision do you move forward or not there that is there's a decision that needs to be made you're sitting on the fence okay do you, do you stay where you're at or do you go? Do you just get the hell out of this situation or do you stay where you're at because you just don't want to be alone? Hmm. There is a feeling of ego here. Somebody has a big ego, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody needs constant reassurance. Mm, yeah, you could be dealing with somebody who is... hard to love you could be dealing with somebody who is hard to love you know um, interesting I'm gonna get this zoomed in before we go any further if we can Kind of big spread right there. I guess that's good enough. 
Anyway, that this is the Ace of Wands. There's a new exciting opportunity here. There's a new partner. So I think there's a new partner in your life that, you know, could lead to wish fulfillment. But there's some feeling of... Are they only out to harm me? Are they only out to harm me? Now, you could be dealing with a person who feels like, or you, somebody had, somebody here is feeling like, I, you're out to hurt me. You're going to hurt me. You're only out here. You don't have good intentions here. You know, there's, there's a lot of criticism. There's a lot of control. Um, there is. There's a lot of criticism and control. This is, this is you. The King of Swords reversed. This is somebody who is very critical, very judgmental. I'm just telling you the meaning. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear this. But luckily, we have we have the Queen of Swords upright as well. So, but these two tells me you're dealing with a soulmate. There is a soulmate connection here, and there definitely is a soulmate connection here. But there's a feeling, and it's exciting. It's exciting. It's like a, it is a gift from above. But there's also a lot of criticism, and there's a lot of judgment, and there's a lot of um, smothering going on, and again, I mean, there's a, there's a, you have to make a decision, there's a decision here, it is, and you need to look at things from a new perspective, so I feel like you guys are using your mind to make this, whatever decision this is, or you guys really have to use your mind in regards to which path to take. you may be deciding to leave a situation that or stay you know it's to go or to stay and that's funny because that's exactly what this is do i stay or do i go do i stay or do i go and that is absolutely clear do i stay or do i go some truth is coming out there is some sort of some truth coming out that is being revealed that may upset you, whatever this is. There is an upset here. But there's a new exciting opportunity too. You could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have the other, uh, and we have Leo, we have Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel as though with that, with that, um, somebody is clinging to control with the Wheel of Fortune, the very first card. Somebody is wanting to control destiny when they can't control destiny. Nobody can control destiny. I mean, they say you can, but I don't believe it. Anyhow, um, you could be dealing with a person that is smothering you, or you're dealing with somebody that is very selfish, and it feels, or that's you, can go, can go both ways your partner could feel like you're selfish it could go both ways it feels like there's a loss there's a lack of hope here a lack of hope and gratitude and appreciation lack of hope lack of gratitude lack of lack of courage lack of strength okay here's the hope here's the lack of hope here's the lack of gratitude here's the lack of strength Lack of courage, lack of confidence, lack of faith, lack of self-love. So I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with, but there's a, definitely a lack here. Somebody is lacking the skills they need to take the lead, to be the boss, to move forward. Interesting, what the hell is this? There is a major new beginning here, though. You guys are at a crossroads in your life, and you have a major new beginning that could be leading to wish fulfillment. But you're dealing with some insecurities here, whether it's yours or the other person. And you're being called to look at things from their perspective, look at things from their eyes. Again, I just did a reading, and it's pretty similar. You know, about it's about confidence. Again, confidence, self-worth, okay? Somebody is lacking that, and you're being offered this new opportunity, and you may be overly critical of this person 
whoever this is. Maybe you're criticizing them or seeing the situation wrongly. You're being called to be open and to be objective, and maybe you haven't been. Okay, that that could certainly be the case. You know, we all have. Um, we're all vulnerable at some point in our lives, and I think you're dealing with somebody who lacks self-love. Damn it all. So it really feel whether it's you or the other person. I mean, this can be a man or a woman, but there's a, some feeling. I mean, there's definitely some karma here as well. There's karma. There's a soulmate connection. There is um, a major new beginning, but there's a lot of fears as well. Fear of being alone. Fear of being left alone. Fear, fear of having to, to be alone again. I mean, that's definitely a fear. So I feel like somebody is smothering because of their fears of being alone. Whether it's you or the other person. Um, and they're controlling. They're trying to control. There's a lot of controlling element here. I mean, and I feel like forgiveness is needed for sure. That judgment card is about forgiveness. So there is definitely some forgiveness that is needed here. So so that this spark can can grow. Okay, so because there is a spark. This ace of Ace of Wands is a spark. So there is a spark here. Oh, but somebody needs to take swift action. Okay, swift action is needed. Somebody needs to do something very quickly. I mean, in regards to this new partner or whoever it is. Um, Ooh, so you know there could be there could be some incompatibility. There could be a disconnection. There could be imbalance. Um, somebody could be unhappy in this dynamic. There could be a breakup. There could be some sneaky behavior going on with the Seven of Swords. You know, some truth is going to come out. Whether it's you or the other person, there's some sort of truth that is going to come out in regards to some sort of sneaky sneaky business. Okay. Um, and it may make somebody feel like they can't do this anymore. Whatever it is. Somebody might give up. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. But I feel like this is something that, you know, you've, it's been on your mind. Okay, now here we have the new perspective again. New perspective, new perspective. It's all how you perceive things, right? It's all how you perceive things. Somebody needs to go through an awakening in regards to this relationship, whatever it is. This is a wake-up call. That's what the judgment is. It's a judgment call. It's an awakening in regards to this relationship where there seems to be, you know, a lack of, of growth here. You're dealing with a, a trickster, whether it's you or the other person. There is somebody who is a, you know thief per se you know they don't care you no know, it's the seven of swords that's a lying cheating no good rotten piece of shit person okay so whether that's you or and i know some of you guys won't like this but this is what's coming out of my mouth you're dealing whether that's you or the other person thinking you know whatever it is somebody is feeling cheated or feeling hurt, or feeling like they're going to be cheated. Interesting. And that's why they're being called to look at things from a new perspective. A new perspective is needed. These are both new perspective cards. Somebody really needs to step back and focus. Is this true? Is this real? I mean, come on now. You know, so... <laughs> You know, you're probably dealing with somebody who does have good intentions. You know, or you're still focused on hurt from a past person. Maybe you were cheated on by somebody because, I mean, this is a water sign right here. And this is cheated. This is the cheated card. You could have been cheated on somebody and you can't, you can't even give the, the, the new opportunity any, you know, time of the day. If you've been hurt by somebody, you may be you may be being called to to really not let that hold you back. There's a new opportunity for two of cups, but there's still a loss. There's still hurt and unable to attach yourself to this new person because somebody has cheated you. 
this water sign perhaps, and that could be hindering your growth in a new relationship that you've been offered. Son of a bitch. Because this is the growth with a new relationship. There is an exciting new opportunity, but I think that you're misjudging the situation because of some past hurt. You've been lied to. You've been cheated. I don't know. Yeah. It's like this is lack of lack of balance, lack of organization. It's like um, things are a mess. Things are a mess. What the hell? Both of these twos reverse. These twos are faith and trust. There's there's no faith and trust here, in what in whatever relationship this is. It's like there's a lack of faith and trust. You may be dealing with a player, or you have been dealing with a player, and that's why there's no growth with this new person. There's no growth here. There, there's a chance that you were dealing with a player in the past that lied to you and cheated on you, and son of a bitch, and now you can't have this. It's causing problems in your new relationship. That's what's happening here. Water sign. I think you de you're dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That maybe has played you and cheated you. You know, that's what it looks like to me. I think there's definitely a water. Look at it. It's all water. I mean, I think you're dealing with a water sign that has really hurt you and broke your heart. Water sign, water sign. I mean, that's what it is. They've cheated you. They've played you. It didn't work out. They upset you. They hurt you. You There was a breakup. And now you're being called to look at a new perspective. There's a new opportunity for love here, That, but you're only concentrating on the loss, the hurt, what happened. So you're staying, you're sacrificing your yourself right now from this other person because it's a sacrifice. It's time to let go of this hurt, this relationship that didn't work. It's time to let go of it. What else does Gemini need to know? You know, it's not about proving yourself. It's about being happy. I feel like you have a decision to make. There was consequences that, that will be, you know, come out of not making your decision or making your decision. What do you choose? I feel like right now you may be in a situation that you're in just because you don't want to be alone. But you're still, you could be still thinking about somebody else from your past that cheated you and lied to you. And therefore it's hindering any relationship growth with the next one. You need to sever those ties completely and move on to this new Two of Cups, but it feels like you can't because somebody really, really lied to you. They really, really cheated you. They really, really hurt you, and now it's causing a lot of confusion for you in the future in regards to a new relationship. You're being called to release this past relationship that didn't work out, that didn't hurt. I mean, that did hurt, blah, 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 and now you feel like anybody that comes into your life is just going to do the same thing. That's what it looks like to me. You need to have, you need this is you need to restore the faith. You need to follow your intuition. This new person is a soulmate connection. There is absolutely no doubt about it. High priest and high priestess. This is Taurus, and I just did the Taurus reading, and it came up in their reading as well. So I feel as though, but not. I mean, it's really weird. They're mirroring each other in that reading, and now they're next to each other. So you guys could. I think you're dealing with a Taurus, and I also think you're dealing with a water sign. It's pretty prominent here, and I think you have to make a decision. You know, and it's a and it's a decision that is going to definitely impact your life. There will be consequences of your decision. There absolutely will be. And I feel like there's somebody from your past that you have been clinging to, whether you've given up on them or not. You're still clinging to the memories, the hurt, the pain, whatever happened. You're still clinging to it when you have an opportunity for a new connection with someone else. And your intuition has been pushing you to go in that direction. But you have to release completely, fully, truly. You cannot still hang on to that person in the past. And I think that's what is happening here. Even though you may have said that you released that person, you can't lie to the universe. And the universe knows if you have or hadn't. I feel like there's a new opportunity for you, you know, to 
a new uh, exciting opportunity to go down a new road, to take a new lead, to dominate your future. But I don't think that you're doing that. I don't. I don't. I think you're still holding on to some relationship that cheated you. You felt cheated. You felt robbed. And I feel as though as somebody you're clinging to the past. You're clinging to somebody from the past. And it's it's hindering your new relationship. Therefore you may um there may there may be no no growth here. You know, there may be no growth for this whatever this is. This could let it lead to a dead end. So I'm not sure what this is, but it feels as though there's a there's somebody from the past that is holding you back from moving forward in the future and it could end up causing um somebody to feel empty inside and dead inside and you know, may, they may decide to close themselves right off completely. They might, they, you know, there could, there, there, there could, there could be a breakup on the horizon. There could be a split, complete split. You know, it feels like things, what needs to happen is there needs to be some compromises. There needs to be some cooperation. Healing needs to happen. Somebody needs to be able to blend. You need to be able to blend with this new person. There is somebody where there's blending that needs to happen. But the past is holding you back really a lot, a lot. So for June, Gemini, I feel like it's about ending a cycle for real. Because that Ten of Cups is a cycle that needs to end. And this is the, both of these tens are, are reversed, they're completion. Somebody is refusing. They haven't completely completed a cycle. They haven't completely let go of something. And it's true. There's a relationship, of, a union of some sort that has it completely let go of. And it's impacting your future happiness. And that is what's happening here. There's an opportunity for love, but it could be thrown away. And I see that we had the Four of Cups. It could be thrown, reversed. It could be thrown away because somebody feels left out in the cold because there's been, you're still hanging on. Hey, man, you're still hanging on. We'll get one more of these and then we'll get one from the other deck. I feel like this is a month of... <sighs> it's a wake-up call with that judgment card. Somebody needs to wake up before it's too late. Yep. Somebody needs to wake up. Make sure you're choosing wisely. If you're going to let this person from the past that cheated you and lied to you and hurt you hold you back from this Two of Cups energy, then that's too bad. There'll be no new beginning. There'll be nothing solid. The Ace of Pentacles. This is there's 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 no no security, no stability here. This person from your past that you are holding on to, that cheated to you, that cheated you from this relationship, that hurt you. This person from the past that hurt you, that cheated you, that lied to you, that wasn't interested in a solid relationship is hindering your progress, no doubt. All you have to do is, is let them go. Stand up, let go. Don't look back, the Eight of Cups. Walk away. Mentally, emotionally, and do not look back. That's what this card means. Right now, right now. Whoever, eight is the time is now.
So I feel like this is a month of finding the the confidence that's been lost, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's not feeling confident in the in this new exciting opportunity that's been offered. They're not feeling confident about it. They're not taking the lead. Mm -mm. They're not dominating the situation. They're letting this person from the past that cheated them and lied to them dominate the situation. Therefore, you, Gemini, aren't going to receive anything stable and secure until that past is dead. This ties need to be severed from the past. Your intuition knows exactly what I'm talking about. Right now, you know who this person is. You've been hanging on to them. You are only concentrating on what's been lost. You see where she's looking down? Right here, we have the Two of Cups. This is love. You have an opportunity for love. But you're concentrating on the third-party situation that you just got went through. And if that's what you want to concentrate on, then don't expect this to stay, you know, whatever. Somebody's not feeling stable and secure, whether it's you or the other person. It's like you're throwing away, because that's what he's doing. Eventually, that's going to fall. That stable, secure opportunity is going to fall. It's going to go away. Somebody wants to have or start a relationship with you and you won't even give them a chance. You're not really giving them a full chance because you haven't completely left the past situation away mentally. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But I feel like you're very indecisive. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with somebody who, in the reverse, somebody that is very stubborn, hot-headed, possessive. And you may not even want to move forward with them or they don't want to move forward with you. The tower reversed in the death card. Something needs to end. With the death card, something needs to end. Something needs to be released. You have this huge fear of suffering. You're letting your fear of suffering hold you back from a new beginning. Like I said, something needs to end. With endings bring new beginnings. But fear, avoidance, will keep you stuck. And you are stuck. You're stuck. So it feels as though you have a new opportunity here. You have a new exciting opportunity. Probably for love or something. This is it doesn't have to be love. You have an exciting new opportunity in which you it may be lost. Okay, with that this new wherever it is the Ace of Pentacles, it may be lost. This new opportunity could be lost because of something from the past, because of some sort of cheating in the past. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Stand your ground.
I feel like there's an ending that brings you a new beginning. That's what it looks like to me. Keep in mind that these readings, this is being recorded for June. This could resonate in May. It could resonate right now. It's being recorded May, what is it, 21st? Now this can resonate in May. It can even resonate the beginning of May. It could resonate a month ago. You know how we get that a lot. The timing is fluid. This is what I'm picking up on today. We are all at different uh, spots on our journey. Some of you could have already went through this. Somebody could be going through this now. Somebody could be going through this in the next month, even the month or two. Okay, that's how it goes. I feel like there's been a situation where you were, you were lied to, you were cheated to, not cheated on. Now there's a new opportunity in which, you know, it could be lost because of insecurities. Not seeing it. Somebody's still concentrating on the loss. Somebody's trying, still trying to be involved in the situation when they shouldn't be. Therefore, it's causing no growth in a new situation. I don't know what that means, but whatever. It is what it is. Talk to you later, Gemini.